coach obviously defensively that's I'm sure that wasn't what we wanted to see just what kind of all went wrong out there you know, there's a lot of things that went wrong uh it's kind of unexplainable to be honest with you it's 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 tough as 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 the leader of this program to to see a group of young men that that i have a lot of faith in a lot of trust in um kind of cave in when it matters when it matters um they're your kids they're my kids and uh uh you you take a lot of pride in, in how how you prepare them and 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 how they perform when when the game's on the line and we just are not doing a good job with that and I, I I'm not going to point I will never point the finger at our guys I love our guys I'm gonna uh, you know I'll stick with them all the way through but we have got to stop stepping in our own way because that's exactly if you if you've watched uh, a majority of this season it's it's it, the Vols are beating themselves and I don't want to take anything away from Georgia because they that's what good teams do when you open the door a little bit they 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 push it wide open and that's what they did in that ninth inning that's what they did when they got their first few runs I mean uh, we have some miscues we, we throw a ball away on a bunt and we don't pick the ball up on a, on a bunt on another bunt and um, uh, we're making errors at imprompt times, and it's just absolutely breaking our back. These guys are obviously all baseball guys, so they, they know this, but is this as good a reminder as any that, you know, even when you get good pitching and, and finally get some offense, you know, obviously defense can – a poor poor defense can, can kind of erode that. Absolutely. I, I, my, I've always stood by uh, the philosophy that defense wins championships. There's no doubt at every level, whether it's basketball or at every sport, basketball, football, baseball, defense wins. And uh, – you could point to a lot of things why we're at where we're at right now, but I think that the most consistent thing is that we have 33 errors on the year right now, and that's probably a little generous, to be honest with you. Um, and it's not just the errors, it's the pass balls, it's the, it's the things we're giving up at times that you can't give up if you want to be a successful team and a successful program. And, and I don't know what is creeping in um, uh, that our guys, they're losing their focus, they're losing their confidence. Uh, we want guys out there that want the ball in those situations, and right now we don't look like we have a lot of guys that, that want the ball in those situations. We've talked a lot about just guys pressing in general. Was that kind of exhibit A, I guess? Yeah, I don't know where that's coming from, to be honest with you. I mean, I go back to, you know, uh, we have high expectations. I always have high expectations for for teams that, that I really believe in, and if that's uh, if that's what's getting in the way, then, then uh, uh, that's my fault. Um, but I stand behind, this is a good team that's not winning games. So it's not a good team, but it's a good team. It's a team that has the talent to make a run at any team in this in this conference. It's the best conference in the country, but we have the, tan the tangibles to be successful. And again, uh, I'm the leader of this, so I take full responsibility. Um, just unfortunately, I can't get out there and do things out on the baseball field. I think uh, we need guys to 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 want to be part of it and 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 to be successful. We need to start doing not special things. We just have to be doing the routine things to be successful. You mentioned just caving in when it really mattered. I guess for all the mistakes that you already had going into the ninth, it's a five-four game at that point. How disappointing is it that, to pile all that on? Well, I I, I think what we haven't seen in a while is, uh, and I commended him after the game in a five-one game. Andrew Lee takes a great at bat and gets us back to 5-4. We have all the momentum going our way. I know that Georgia really didn't want to have, they don't have a lot of depth in their bullpen with some guys down in their rotation. Um, and then we open up the floodgates for them. And, um, and then it was unreachable in, in, the, in the ninth. But I, I thought that was a great at bat by Andrew in, in, a, in a situation where the game's still close. And then 5-4 mm -hmm. and, and we're right where we want to be, to be honest with you. And then um, they put a seven spot on the board. And it's not so much with the seven spot, it's what we gave them and give them the seventh spot. You mentioned it before early in the season, but this isn't necessarily a young team. What do you think has kind of caused some of these issues for a team that's not, not one of the younger ones that has kind of experience with uh, certain games like this? Before? Well, baseball is a, uh, is a really mental sport. And um, I, I think part of it has to do with how we've come out of the gate. Um, I don't think there's any young man or man that's putting on this uniform every day that thought that this team would be nine and 10 right now, that thought that this team would be uh, one and four in the SEC after five games. Um, so the pressure probably mounts a little bit more. It makes it a little tougher. Uh, winning cures all. Uh, just unfortunately, we're, we're having a tough time getting on any kind of winning streak because we're getting in our own way. And I uh, had a good feeling after Tuesday night. It wasn't a perfect game, but we pitched well. We played good defense and won three nothing. And then uh, got a well-pitched game last night. Couldn't score enough runs and we ended up losing two to one. And then you know, again, we hit the, the home run to make it 5-4. You know, you start to get the good feeling. 
and then the, the floodgates just open. And, and, and really, it was 5-4, but we had given them the five runs to start the game. So, so again, I mean, we're our worst enemy, and, and we have got to find a cure and get, you know, get mentally tougher as a team, as a whole, to get through some of this stuff. Wasn't necessarily the most consequential of the defensive mistakes, but I guess when I guess Brett steps on third, thinking it's a force and it's not, is that one that you look at and say, "Oh man, this is concerning where where our heads are at right now." My exact comment, and this has nothing to do with Brett, is uh, we've hit rock bottom when that happens. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes those things happen to freshmen. To be honest with you, mm -hmm. um, in in those kind of moments, uh, but it isn't just the freshmen that are making those mistakes. That was a mental, pure mental mistake. But I'm not sure some of our physical mistakes are mental mistakes too. It's like, it's almost like we have the feeling we have to do something. We don't have to do anything. We just need to play baseball. We need to play baseball the way that, that we're striving to do each and every day and what we are trying to do and we see in practice. Just how big is tomorrow? I know you guys obviously lost the series, but to, to not get swept at home in the SEC, I, I'd imagine that's tomorrow's got to be one, one of the bigger games so far. Every game's a big game. Um, you know, we're going to need Kyle to show up um, with his A game, and uh, we're going to have to play good defense, and we're going to have to to be able to, to muster some offense. And uh, tomorrow's a big game. You're right. Uh, we can't feel sorry for ourselves. So there's no time to feel sorry for yourself in, yourself in this league. Um, tomorrow's a big game to salvage one game because in the end that could play a big part in, in what our destiny is.